So today, we're joined by special guests on my channel. Oh shit, you're showing me, okay. Well, like how else were you supposed to? <laughs> That's fine. Wanna introduce yourself? I'm Alex, um, yeah. So Alex is a self-proclaimed master chef. Today we're gonna cook, we're gonna learn how to cook potatoes, asparagus, and chicken, and lemon chicken. So it's like special. <laughs> First step, watch recipes on YouTube to figure out how to cook this meal. Yep. And what are we gonna start out with? We're gonna start out with the asparagus. So. I'm gonna be the sous chef. Yeah, she'll be the sous chef. So first things first, you pick good asparagus, uh, which we haven't actually done. So that, this no, should, this looks fine. It should be green, like this the entirety is... of this. Like this is brown. You see this? I'll eat this. The bottom is black. I think it's fine. Um, this is supposed to be green. Uh, just take off like a couple of them, and then you go ahead and you snap them off. It's, wait, wait, it's you not snap like it? Bad. Unless it's like too brown, then you can cut it off and be like, I don't want to deal with that. But it's like it doesn't snap perfectly. All right, let's give it a shot. So oh. That, so that just, Go a little bit higher. Okay. Um, I should snap it. Oh! Uh, so it just like, okay. snaps right off. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, you can go ahead and get some garlic going. Uh, you need three cloves of garlic. Okay. Um, it's pretty simple. Garlic, you just take it out and then you smash it and then you chop it up. And then we're gonna cook that first uh, for like 60 seconds on the pan. Uh -huh. um, and then we're gonna add this asparagus and then we're gonna close it for around 10 minutes depending upon how you like your asparagus cooked. If you want it like a little stiffer, it would be less than 10 minutes. If you want it more soft, um, you would cook it for longer. Cool. I beautifully snapped all of these asparagus. Is it asparagus? Multiple asparagus, asparagus? 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 That's a great question. Okay. Like don't chop towards your body. You never go like, eh, 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 you know? Yep, that would be Slide safe. Deal. Uh, chop, chop, chop. Beautiful. You smash that garlic. Exactly, exactly. What temperature? Oh, sorry, that's uh, a stove, so it doesn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll probably do um, do it like medium heat. Uh, you don't want to burn the garlic. You just want to cook it like really quick um, for like 60 seconds with the oil. Okay. You can have olive oil. I currently have canola oil. So. And then we go ahead and throw the garlic in. Okay, just carry these guys in. Okay. And then we're gonna cook it for around 10 minutes. Okay. Um, we're gonna move it every now and again if you want to do that. Okay, I can move it. Uh, I like to move it, move it. I'm excited yeah. to move this asparagus. And Let's move this. So you lift the lid. <laughs> and you move it. Very simple, very simple, very straightforward. I know. This is what it's looking like. Green, beautiful. Like a spring day. <laughs> yeah, so this is done. Oh, okay. You want to try something you're really welcome to? Okay. This is asparagus. Beautiful! She's beauty, she's grace. Uh, do you have a utensil? Do I have a utensil? <laughs> we'll just eat with our hands. Uh, just gotta go for it. Okay. Well, I don't want to burn my hand. Okay. Well, there are some things worth the... Some sacrifices you have to make in life. Okay. You're cold. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> It's soft. It's hot. It's like very hot. Uh, okay, how does it taste aside from the soft, hot, and cooked? Those are all very descriptive words. They don't tell you anything. You can taste the garlic. I think it needs more salt. I said that it's good. It tastes like asparagus. And then the next thing we work on is uh, the potato wedges. So. Okay. I did the potato wedges already just because I was hungry. So <laughs> taste test, live taste test. How is it? Not bad. What what could make it better? That's a good question. I think there need to be more spices like mm. in general. Okay. Let's do a taste test. <laughs> yeah, more spices. But it's not bad. I mean it just tastes like it tastes like a potato. Yeah, it tastes like a potato. <laughs> it doesn't great, it doesn't taste bad. It's a potato. No. We'll do batch number two. What is that? And this is just a bowl. <laughs> I, just a bowl. I um, should I should have done that. I would choose a bowl. Okay, like four potatoes, four or five potatoes, see four. 
And then you just cut them in half, and then you cut them in half again. And you want to do that for your that, Those are going to be huge wedges. If you think it's too big, you can like make it smaller. Well, yeah, I just cut it more. Yeah. I did a beautiful job of cutting potatoes. Now you put those guys in here, uh, paprika. There's so olive much oil, oil in that. There's a lot of olive oil. Why is there so much oil? Because last time it wasn't completely coated and I felt like it didn't get around everything. So it's like a fourth cup. This looks like- You're eating like literally just oil. It's okay. It's, it's uh, you know, it's gonna be okay. You're eating so much oil. Do you see this? It's glazing it with oil. <laughs> glazing it, you're drowning it. It's on the Titanic and it's literally drowning. Accurate statement. It'll thoroughly be submer submerged in uh, the spices. Oh, geez. To do this stuff, you literally just pick up the potato and put it in the bag. Wow. <laughs> Pretty hard to mess up. I feel so bad for these potatoes. Now they're all in here and they're drowning in here. They're well coated for sure. Done. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Dripping! They're gonna be baking in there. They're gonna get sunburnt. If they were out on the beach, they would definitely get sunburnt. You know people who put too much tanning oil? That's yeah. exactly what we did to the potatoes. They just wanted a nice tan. They didn't want to become lobsters. Got it. Mm -hmm. taking care of the Yes, I'm giving each of them my individual attention. Cup of tender and love and that's how TLC. you're- <laughs> What should have left is a bag of oil. Exactly. If you did it correctly. We'll just throw that out. All right, so and then you just put that in the oven for at 450 degrees for half an hour. Okay. And you're good to go. Do you, do you, see, do you want some? They seem a little lonely, you know? Do you want no! Some <laughs> All right, so now we'll talk about the chicken. So for the lemon chicken, what did we do? We used oregano, we used garlic, we did lemon zest, we did lemon juice, and um, rosemary and thyme, and then we just tried to make a sauce from that. So what we did was we cooked the garlic for around six seconds, then we put in the olive oil, then we put in the lemon zest, then we put in the lemon juice. It was one teaspoon of like lemon zest, two teaspoons of lemon uh, juice, mm -hmm. and then we put in oregano, thyme, and rosemary, um, and then made like a good sauce, and then we just put that in the fridge for around an hour. Uh, quick tips on the lemons. Uh, you can roll it like this mm -hmm. and it gives you like, uh, it destroys the fiber inside the lemon so it's a lot easier to squeeze. Uh, right now we're just going to cut lemon, I guess, lemon wedges to put on top of the lemon or on top of the chicken. And cut it. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. And make sure you don't cut your hands again. I just eat lemon straight up. Like an orange. That's interesting. No, I used to work. Um, at this bar and grill, and basically I was out shuck clams during the summer. Shuck you know, like people eat, raw, like you know, eat, people eat raw clams. Yeah. So then you have to open them for them because you can't just eat a closed clam. To open, but you need like uh, the knife thingy yeah. to open it. So I would shuck clams yeah. and then serve it with lemon and like horseradish, right? Yeah. And then when there was like no customers and I was bored, I would just like put a wet lemon wedge in my mouth. This is the chicken, chicken marinade. Put this on a pan, and then we are going to cook it. So we're setting at 400? Yep. 400 degrees. And then this is a beautiful tin foiled pan. Get the chicken out of the bag. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Raw chicken. And then we put the lemon this. Or sorry, the lemon. lemon wedges. And this is what makes it lemon chicken. Exactly. Chicken exactly. with lemon. Exactly. Pretty self explanatory. Kind of See ya in 40 minutes? Exactly. Okay. Check on it in 30 minutes. Yeah. If you have a cooking thermometer, that'd be great. I think it's 170, you're good to go. If you don't have a cooking thermometer, I think thermometer, it's 165, but. Okay, 165, 160, 175. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you don't have a cooking thermometer, you just. Uh, Eyeball and hope you don't get sick! Exactly. <laughs> and now we wait and we will watch Love is Blind. Love is blind, is that an accurate statement? I do not think it is. I don't this think is it is. some bullshit. But it's gonna be a great show. Lowbrow. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be great. I don't think it'll be good at all. I think mix. Mix. Where did the mix go? I guess we just gotta pull it out for bare hands. Yep. Follow these steps exactly. Yes, you run out of mitts, so you gotta just gotta man up and put some <laughs> toothpaste on. <laughs> toothpaste? Yes. That looks hot. It's sizzling. 
fun. I think this needs more time. We oh. should um, use our thermometer and just poke it. Mm. There we go. Now we... Ooh, baby. It smells good. Yeah. And this is the end product. So this is what lemon chicken looks like. Do we think it's edible? I think, oh, let's hope so. We have to do so a taste test soon. I think it's good. All right, I'm just gonna taste a little bit of this. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Okay. I don't know if it's cooked or not. But it's really, really good. <laughs> well, Moist. Let's get salmonella together. <laughs> so, chicken is done. The asparagus is done. The potato, like the, he made the first batch of potatoes and that's done. The second batch is still in the oven. Alrighty. Alrighty. Grab a plate. Wait, what's <laughs> okay, so I plated my food and we're gonna taste test together. I already tasted the potato and the. Okay, okay, I already tasted the asparagus and the potato. You can definitely taste the lemon. Okay, well, let me taste it first. Okay. Tastes like lemon and chicken. Thus, lemon chicken. I would say we did a good job, right? We did a good job. We did a good job. Yeah, the chicken. Yes, the chicken was good. I mean, like, everything was good. So, we get a pat on the back. Comment down below if you want to see another cooking video with us. <laughs> what? So, uh, it might just be Sam next time around. You know? We finished our food. There's a lot of leftovers because we're two people and we can't eat that much food. I mean, I, I, I can eat a lot, but I'm not that hungry because I ate before this because I wasn't sure if we we're gonna make something edible. But you know, I'm not gonna say that. He's not here right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to make asparagus, potatoes, and chicken, and you make that. And if you do make it, take a picture of it and post on Instagram or in your story and then tag me. That'd be cool. I would love to see your creations. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do your thing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.